area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You a liar and a punk. Y'all can't see it, but it's there like the spare tire in the trunk. I see Ryder with a... Y'all can't see it, but it's there like the spare tire in the trunk. I see Ryder with a pump. Two options. Try me if you want. I get up close and make you kiss the Drake like Doris Burke or Rachel Nichols. It's getting fired from the jump. You Yo! done. Oh! Was it, wasn't you a baller? Yes. And I heard them knee injuries put an end to them seasons. Ankles. Oh, ankles, huh? <laughs> put an end to them seasons. So now I know why you told Shug white man can't jump. Okay, the shit was egregious. But I can turn Woody Harrelson into the sixth man, a spirit of butter rim, which I ain't putting together the pieces. A little birdie told me he got game and now he linking with Jesus. You told Geechee. Oh, oh, yo. oh, Back again, salute to y'all for tapping in. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this for content, whether religiously or in passing. So House of Wolves presented main events all night and they had a battle between none other than Ryder and Award. A Ward versus Ryder. One round battle. I did get to peep it. I had blogged on it a couple months ago and they was talking about actually doing this. Salute to that league. It's a brand new startup league. Make sure that you check the battle out. You know, subscribe to their channel, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. They're trying to build a new platform, you know what I'm saying? Giving exposure to, you know, new guys and things like that. So uh, I did peep it. You got Ryder, he battled Don Marino, I think the day before. He had to battle with Don Marino. Uh, he, to me, just my opinion, he beat Don Marino. Don Marino had a phenomenal first round, but his round went from like here to like here, and then it like bottomed out at the end. Riders went from like here to like here, and then he was like heavy on top heavy. And um, when I say that is, you know, Riders got a lot of flag in his career. You know what I'm saying? Like you've seen. Look at this. Okay, prime example. You know, he's came in. He was with the, he's with the Goonies. The Goonies came. The Goonies disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Everybody went on and did their own separate things. Jack Boy Mains got bigger battles than Ryder had got. Uh, Drugs got bigger battles than Ryder got. Lou Castro's on Summer Madness. New Jersey Twerk. We all know New Jersey Twerk. But Ryder never really, you know what I'm saying, got that push or got that look. For whatever reason. You know, who is it? that's not what I'm here to discuss or debate. But... I never really feel like he got that look, you know what I'm saying? He's been in the league almost four or five years and no volumes, no bigger cars, no, he, he didn't get a two-on-two -two in the big matchups, you know, they, they gave all the rookie niggas two-on-twos and shit. I don't really think they like him like that, though. I'll be honest with you. You are be playing um, flag football with his career. I think he's got some talent, but, you know, you, he's never been able to get the real opportunities that maybe one should get, and, you know, there's a lot of politics involved with that shit. So... What he has been starting to do is take his career in his own hands and start to take some battles on his own, do his own thing. And I think that helps out a lot because once you show, sometimes you got to show niggas your handle and show niggas what you're worth on the outside. Like, yo, all right, y'all not booking me? Watch this. I'm going to do this, 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 and show people that you actually have some stock and that you're actually worth Investing in because some people may not believe you until they're forced to that's just the way shit goes And I be seeing all the lives all the politics and all the crazy shit that goes on so You niggas got a lot of work cut out for you, but um salute to Ryder a Ward has taken a non-conventional route to stardom He's battled on a bunch of leagues has not been on URL yet He's expressed, you know his frustration or you know his way of doing things, you know, he's been booked a lot You know my slogan one of the many, if you cook in a booking, came from people like A Ward. If, if you cook in a booking sweaters, it's gonna be coming soon too. Don't you even, don't you niggas even worry. We got a lot of merchandise that's about to rip. But if you cook in a booking, it's definitely gonna be one of them. I was supposed to do it last year, but it'll be here this year. So, um, you got A Ward who's taking a non conventional route to stardom. And now he's starting to battle a lot of the URL guys. 
Uh, he battled uh, Arsenal not too long ago in the one round that he battled Ill Will on RBE. Now he's battling Ryder. I heard he has Luke Cash on. I think he's got Fonz too. He'll probably battle the whole fucking class before it's over. Who knows? So, uh, you know, they come into this one rounder. And, um, you know, I got some notes. I'll go through my notes and then, you know what I'm saying, I'll give you who I thought got this one. A uh, rider comes out, grandmother breaking in church, don't, like, don't be a menace. And, you know, don't be a menace, the grandmother's breaking in church. Uh, the same shit they did to us, erasing history. I like that line. I got to keep the 45 at home and away. It's a tied game. You know, 45 for home and away. It's a tied game. I like that line, too. I put the whole squad in yellow tape, Wu-Tang. Uh, I was blacking at the bottom like slave boats, waiting for the quieter boy to pop up. Five heartbeats at the talent show. Had another line, name my guns, Jake Logan. I can make both of them Paul Bearers. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, I like that. Uh, Rider Man slaughter off the brandy, I like that line. Then he had that scheme where he got into the punch. Birdie told me he got game, now he's linking with Jesus. You know, he took, he got game, he took above the rim, he put them all together, I liked it. Uh, I play Usher, one of my confessions, biggest hit. Uh, wait, I play the Usher, one of my biggest hits came from confessions. Uh, cut the cut in the middle of a award like a BET cipher. Cut in the middle of a award like a BET cipher. Um, his first round was very serviceable. You know what I'm saying? He had some material in there. He was able to run through some some fire bars. He had a, uh, uh, the haymaker with the one scheme, and the a award comes out. Uh, a award came out freestyling. Like, he literally freestyled probably like his first minute or so before he even got into the written. And he was like, I don't have to write. I don't have to ride around to be a ride around. Like, I don't have to ride around to beat a ride around. I thought that that was a very clever concept because he literally was showing that I could freestyle about the wall, about the traders, about all this shit that was going on in the venue and all this other shit. Then he had a... Trey, eight, been in the game, little nine. Uh, I don't have the right around, it'd be the right around. Uh, you promoted all that silk and got sat in the corner. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now that shit right there, that was kind of heavy. I'm not gonna hold you, because he was saying Ryder promoted all the silk shit and still got sat in the corner. That was stupid. Uh, he said, you hit up AR, you hit up A, and you hit up ARP, and you ain't on P-A-R to R-A-P with me. Like, you hit it, you couldn't hit up A-R-P because you ain't on par to rap with me. That shit was fire. They gave Ryder a small essay. Now he in front of a dissertation. That was fire, too. Um, all through our A-Wars round, I'm not going to lie. Like, he was literally showing the levels of writing style that he uses. And he had to fight for reaction because, you know what I'm saying, like, this shit is... In Richmond, a is not getting a lot of reaction. Like, they give you the reaction when he hits certain haymaker haymakers. But uh, Ryder, his material, like, I could tell that, you know, he wrote for a -Ward, He had some shit. But a -Ward was freestyling. And them shits was hitting. And then a -Ward had some of that shit. Like, he was saying, you know, you promoted all that silk. Then you got sat in the corner. Like, that shit... Shit was kind of kind of heavy. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, I definitely have a Ward 1-0 in a one round battle. Um, it's very entertaining though, and more so. I'm actually doing this more so for you guys to go watch it. You know what I'm saying? People, and y'all could get your own uh, thought process of how of how you feel about the battle. But like I said, it's overall it's a one round battle, so it doesn't really move the needle. I think it had like a thousand views when I when I went and watched this shit. So hopefully some of y'all actually go peep this. This is like a me passing y'all off to go check Ryder versus A Ward. I do see uh, A Ward going back and forth with a lot of people. He was going back and forth with Fonz. Uh, I see him going back and forth with Gichi Gotti. Uh, somebody DM'd me not too long ago and said that they're gonna actually have a rematch uh, if they do. I do see Gichi Gotti putting forth some kind of effort this time around because last time it really wasn't like that. And it showed, you know what I'm saying? Like he battled him in the lunchroom with just maybe a couple of cafeteria workers there, maybe a janitor, and he lost. And that's the only matchup on his whole profile that people keep sticking back. But you lost the A-World, but you lost the A-World, but you lost the A-World. So they'll probably battle again sometime this year. And if they do, I do see Gigi Gotti taking it serious. Um, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in past, and salute to Ryder, you know what I'm saying, for battling Don Marino and A-Ward within a couple days time frame. 
that is a lot in itself. Uh, you know, and he, he got the win versus Don Marino. This one will be a good look because it's a one round, but uh, hopefully Ryder starts to get some matchups that make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, because to be on a platform for so long, niggas are still playing with you, like, you ain't really getting the looks, looks that you deserve. Like, the nigga, what, whoa, whoa, what he said? He said, you're done, done. You've been on URL for five years and they just giving you none, none. Like, And he was, this is this the shit that niggas come at you with. Um, it was round was definitely fired, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had some shit. Um, but we've been known this about a war. He's been able to do this for a while. He doesn't lose many battles. He always brings it, uh, always has it for the top competition. And it's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, hopefully, we see more from him. And hopefully, we see more from Ryder, too. I actually fuck with Ryder. I like what he does. Uh, good one-rounder. Other than that, salute to, you know, league and all that, House of Wolves, I'm gone. Gang.